Lafayette Square is little more than a seven acre park facing the White House in Washington, D.C. That location, however, has made Lafayette Square one of the most celebrated areas in Washington. Indicated as part of the grounds of the President's House by Pierre L'Enfant, the square was one of the first open spaces in the city to be landscaped as a public park. Until the park was landscaped in the 1820s, the open space was used for various functions. A small family graveyard, an apple orchard, a racetrack, and a market were all said to occupy this position. Other than the White House, no permanent structure faced onto the square until 1816, when St. John's Church was erected. Famed architect Benjamin Henry Latrobe, who at that time was overseeing the White House and Capitol reconstructions, designed the church on Lafayette Square. Almost every president since Madison has attended the church. In 1818, Latrobe designed a home for Stephen Decatur that became the first private residence on the square. The Decatur House became a social and diplomatic center of Washington. After the Commodore's death in 1820, the house became occupied by the Minister of France, the Russian Legation, Secretaries of State Henry Clay and Martin Van Buren, the statesman Edward Livington, and the British Legation. During the Civil War, the military occupied the home. In 1956, the National Trust for Historic Preservation took the building over and created it into a museum. One of the most interesting aspects of the home today are the slave quarters which are still intact in the back, one of the last remaining examples of urban slavery in view of the White House. Many fascinating events have occurred on the square, including New York Congressman Daniel Sickles, who would later become a famous Civil War general, murdered Philip Barton Key, son of Francis Scott Key, on the square in 1859 for sleeping with his wife. The famed assassination attempt on William Seward also occurred on the square the night Lincoln was killed. The park contains five significant monuments. The first of these monuments is the equestrian statue of Andrew Jackson, which sits directly in the center of the park. The statue was constructed in 1853. Of interesting note, the four cannons that surround the statue, Jackson sees from Spanish Pensacola. The four other statues are four military leaders who helped the United States during independence. The most important of these statues is the one of General Lafayette, which was erected in 1891. The park is probably known best today as the designated area to protest in front of the White House. Lafayette Square as a protest zone dates back a long time. During the 19-teens, the National Women's Party, representing the militant wing of the suffrage movement, headquartered themselves at the Cameron House on Lafayette Square. That same organization held regular protests in front of the White House. The park was famously used during the Civil Rights Movement and the Vietnam War to protest. The Peace Park Anti-Nuclear Vigil has remained 24 hours a day since June 3, 1981 to support an end to nuclear weapons. During the summer of 2008, most protesters were protesting the presidency of George W. Bush. Although Lafayette Square brings out protesters of all sorts of things. The park is also known as Peace Park due to the proliferation of protesters, despite the fact that all five statues in the park are of military heroes and there have been numerous murders in the park. In spite of the protesters and the homeless in the park, the park really is rather beautiful. It has large pathways, with made of brick, circular cutout for trees, seasonal flowers along the walkway. No more war. No more war. We are here today in beautiful Lafayette Square, which is directly across from the White House. Lafayette Square was one of the original parks designed in Washington, D.C. by Law Enfant himself, the planner of the city. It also serves as the main designated place for protesting in D.C. The freedom of these protesters here in Lafayette Square is in direct contrast to the Decatur House on the corner right here, just across from the White House. The Decatur House asked places to, to show urban, um, urban slavery. 